In this video, we're gonna talk about the C712 and how we want to basically drain the machine and how to clean it. So the first step we want to do is we want to turn it out of auto by just touching the button here. The machine now is off. We then want to use wash and pump to drain the machine. We have a bucket underneath the draw spout and we'll just drain this until it stops coming out, which depends on how much product is up in the pump. So I've uh, been pouring the uh, mix out now for about two minutes and it's now as you can see it's liquid so what I've done is I've turned the pump off and I've disconnected the tube from the pump. It's faster that way just using wash I can now just let basically the gravity and the parts turning drain the machine. We've now emptied the machine of mix but we still have to clean it by rinsing warm water through the machine. If we took the door off now we'd be covered in ice cream so we don't want to do that. So I have some lukewarm water. Then I'm going to pour into the top of the hopper. And then I'm going to put the machine into wash mode. I have a brush that Taylor supplies that we want to brush up in the hopper to try and clean some of the mix that's up in the hopper. Now I've got the water in, it's been running for a few minutes, we're going to drain the first amount of water through. It's going to look like it's still kind of an ice cream color, that's okay because we're going to continually rinse water through until it comes out clear. So the machine is still in wash, you can see it does look like it's ice cream but it's actually just water mixed in with some of the remaining ice cream. We could drain it at this point, take the door off, but then you would still be covered in ice cream. So we're going to continually run probably two or three buckets of water, lukewarm, until it comes out clear, and then we'll empty the machine and we'll start disassembling. Okay, so now I've had the machine running for about 10 minutes and we've drained a couple buckets of water through, but at this time I would like to clean the hopper a little more and behind the pump assembly, so I'm going to take the pump off at this point in time. final water out as you can see it's becoming clear. This means that there's no more ice cream left in the machine but once this drains out we can take the machine apart. So now we've emptied the machine there's nothing left coming out so I'm going to turn off the wash mode and we're now going to take off the door and disassemble the equipment. So now I've emptied the machine and we're going to take the door off. First thing the safety there is a power switch here. You're going to turn that off and you can see it says power switch is off. At this point in time any buttons that you touch you'll get no reaction, so it's for safety. So now I'm gonna take the hand studs off, and I've got a bucket under here because you might get a little bit of water dripping out, but that's okay. As you can see now, it's draining into the bucket. These hand studs come off. These two, very simple. And this whole freezer door, it. Next thing we have is the beater assemblies. I have my hands holding on these blades so they don't fall off on me. And I just lay the beater assembly down. Next beater assembly. And finally, the dry shafts. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the pump out, which we've already disconnected. So now I have the freezer door, what I'm going to disassemble. This will be a freezer door assembly. We first have a keeper pin that we're going to pull across, lay down, and we've got our three draw valve handles that come out. We then have our draw valves, which I will pull out. And there's O-rings on these that we have tools to remove that come in your tuna kit. Or you can also do an old method called pinch and roll, where you pinch the O-ring and you roll it out. The reason I'm removing these O-rings is because there are a square groove that these O-rings go into. And we have to clean and get the bacteria out. So all of our draw valves all have different kinds of o-rings. The center one's a little bit different. You can see this is called an H o-ring. And the third one here is just like the 
first one in this in is the uh, the left and right. We have our prime plugs. We also have O-rings that we will have to take off as well. And on the bottom of this door, we have what's called our design caps, which come off as well. That gives you the design of your ice cream. These here are our door gaskets. And these are our bearings for our door. At this point, you can now see the door is stripped down to its bare essentials. The only other thing we have here is our meter assemblies with the blades that actually come on and off very easy. There's a clip, a pin that locks it in place. They come off. These plastic pieces come off. And we will get to our pump assembly. Okay, now I have the pump in my hand here. This is the full assembly. There's a pin that pulls out that then releases the pump assembly parts. This can sometimes be a little tricky to pull. There might be some water in it, that's okay. I just use my thumb to push everything straight out of the cylinder. The cylinders are designed so the pump parts do not go in the wrong way, so don't worry about that. At the same time, I also am going to take off my O-rings like I've done for all of my other draw valves. Lay them on the table. And we uh, want to make sure that everything has time to dry overnight. But what we're done right now is we've run our sanitizer through it. This is at the point in time where these parts would end up going to the sink and we would run them with some sanitizer again and leave them out like this to dry for the night. Any machine that goes back together that's still wet, can do, you can do that, but then we would have to start the machine with mix right away. That's for another video where we're gonna go through an actual assembly. But if you can take a look at this point in time, we have most of the parts. This one here is the only one left that has a piece that has to come off right here. This is the pump inlet and a couple more O-rings. I know it looks like a lot of parts, but you'll get used to it. This video is here for your referencing, so I hope you enjoyed watching my disassembly of a Model C74.